Uh, you're a geezers. Uh, I'm going to do a video on um, Plum Malepa Gecko and uh, just how her viv is. Um, how her viv is. Um, you know, bits and bobs, really. So, if I grab you. Oh. Whoa, sorry man. Right. <coughs> this is her vivarium. It's a three foot three foot viv by oh Christ knows what the other dimension. It's just three foot long, yeah. Um make it easy for myself. Right, well I haven't got it really set up nice at the moment. Red infrared bulb. Uh, there's a heat mat under that hide there. Um, the temperature's reading about 80, 80 ish on that side, maybe a bit over, and about 70, 75 there. Um, but she's got a moist hide box. Well, um, let's start with this. She has a decor plants, rockery paper on the uh, sides. Uh, high, nice hide, warm hide there. Uh, nice log in to climb. Water bowl around the back. Full of water. <laughs> Obviously. And then she's got a big calcium dish there, which she's, she regularly licks. Um, this is supposed to be her hide box. So hold on. Let me get it set up. I made it the other day. What it is, it's because I don't have any vermiculite or anything at the moment. I've placed tissue paper on the bottom and then shredded a few more bits up and moistened that up. Um, then I knitted like a wool. Well, yeah, I'd call it a woolly hat, which is this. Um, I sewed it together using my sewing skills. See that is. Yeah, it's beast it is. It's great. Cut a little hole in for her. And this is out of the repti carpet that I had. So I'll plop that in there again. And then we'll just simply plop it on over the top. So she has somewhere dark to hide. And then what I do is I place a log there on top of that. So it looks like that. Um, as I say, yeah, she's got repti carpet, um, a heat mat over this side. Let me just open it up for you. See, heat mat there. Um, and there she is. Bless her little heart. She's so cute. She's I think she's gorgeous. She's so interactive as well. I mean when I got her, as soon as I got her she was interactive with me. And usually they are, take a few days, maybe even weeks, to settle in. And well this this girl just she's there, man, she's there already. Hold on. I'm just putting it down here because I need a cushion from the back. You know, you've got to be comfortable when you're making these high quality videos. I don't want to get any camera strain, do I? But yeah, here she is. Lovely little colorations. Um, you know, she's just beautiful. And the thing is, when people say, when you look at a leopard gecko dead and they look like they're smiling, she does. <laughs> so cool. Um, yeah. She needs a bit more of a fatter tail. I mean, I suppose it's alright. She needs a little bit of fat and not. She's eating fine, though. Every two days. Shoving about. 
five crickets and Cheetos. Well, locusts, same what I feed Spike on. She manages those, no problem. It's very photogenic. I mean, she's she's big. She's all right. She's quite a nice long size. And you can see old and loose over there. Oh, sorry. Focus isn't very good. But yeah, they all have red lights on during the night now. And you can see through right here, did you see that? Uh, let me see if I can get it again. You see that little the little speck that shines. Oh sorry, she climbed all over my arm. You can see through her ear, let you see that. <laughs> Weird. She's great. I I really just can't wait to get any to get more. Sorry, singing. Um, so, just a video of the leopard. The leopard herself, Plum. Um, yeah. There it is again. <laughs> I'll leave you with her. See you later, alligators.